I suppose that's the beauty of documenting this thing. I can go home now and pull up those YouTube clips and see if those holes that I've just filmed there are in the same spots where the plants were three months ago. Maybe I should uh, use that as a reason to get some sort of, uh, get the state government involved. I mean, uh, I mean if they're good enough for people to rip out the ground, it's good enough for the state government to get involved into some proper legitimate propagation program, I would think. You know, there's obviously a draw for them. Uh, and if I can, I've got the evidence that they've been, if I can match up those holes to the footage from three months ago, uh, I've got direct evidence that uh, they were specifically after those plants. It was just, wasn't just an accidental d dig up. <laughs> okay. Maybe that's the way to do it. Go the other way. You know, start up a legitimate propagation program for these roadside plants. You know, special dispensation from the state government. Anyway, I'll move on down the road and it's been pretty disappointing that people would actually do that. You know, why couldn't you just take a leaf? If you really must, just take a leaf and propagate some plants on the leaf and come back next year when there's some maybe some seedlings on the ground but now you don't know if there's going to be any seedling because there's no plants there now so uh, as far as I can see just holes in the ground bugger <laughs>